I sincerely don't share your excitement. I doubt if that guy is really married. <laughs> he said the truth, married or not. <laughs> he really opens men. <laughs> I know you now. That is the kind of nonsense that you would love to hear. I know you. Because you want to be you want to claim equality with your husband. That is what you're doing. I know. Hmm. Peter, why are you taking this so personal if it's directed to you? Ha. Huh? Same reason the high rate of broken marriage is alarming these days. Said this thing to you, an attack on one man is an attack on all men. Attack? Yes. That's not what I saw. So what did you see? <laughs> I saw a man expressing some hard facts about men, including himself. And what's the difference? You said he attacked all men. Yeah. Please just stay away. Um, where's my where's my phone? Morin, did you did you see my phone? Um, no, I did not. Uh, uh, Maureen, I'm talking to you, Maureen. Where's my phone? I said I did not see it. What do you mean you did not see it? Huh? Did the phone suddenly grow wings and flew out of the car or what? Are you sure you did not drop this thing anywhere? What kind of stupid question is that? Eh, hey, Maureen? Uh, oh no, okay. Calm down, let's search for it. Calm down what? My phone is not here. Eh? It's ringing. It's ringing? Yes. And I can't hear anything. It's ringing. Oh my goodness. My phone. I can't lose my phone. All my travel details are in there. I can't lose it. Eh? Calm down. It's all your fault. I shouldn't have attended that stupid program with you. Eh? Now look at my phone. I can't find it. And you're telling me rubbish. Wait, let me call the organizers if they've seen it. Hold on. Get down. Get down from my car and close the door. Get down. I need to go back there. Just, just, just start praying. Let nothing happen to my phone. Close my door. Jesus, where is Mona? Where's... Oh my goodness! Mona! 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 Please open the door! Mona! Mona! get a good school with the amount you are mentioning. That's, in, that's impossible. I hope you know that we are still going to buy school books, uniforms and... Uh... Peter, whatever you used to know has changed. I mean, I'm the one in Nigeria. I know better. No, 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 Peter, 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 just stop. You see that tactics you're trying to use on me right now? It will not work. You keep running away from me anytime we're having a conversation about your own children's welfare. Tell me, when was the last time you contributed a dime for these children's school fees? When was the last time you sent any money for their accommodation? When? In the last past eight years, when was the last time, Peter? Tell me. Peter. Peter. Peter, you're a fool! You're a coward! Peter, you are mad! Mom! What are you doing here? How long have you been here? I heard everything. Don't you ever sneak up on me like that again. You look sad. I'm fine. 
I'm okay. Mona, I've told you to stop eavesdropping on people's conversation. It is wrong. Why do you look sad? You're sad. I'm fine. Who are you talking to? Mona, I'm fine. And it's still quite early in the morning. Let me take you back to your room. Are you sure? I'm fine. Buy it next time. What you promised? There was no enough money to get it. Next time. Hmm? Well, what about the cereal? Will you shut up and get inside the car? If you say pimp, I'm going to spank you. Come on, shut up! Oh, I forgot something. You guys should wait here. I'm coming in here. Chidera, wait here. Hello, madam. Please, how is she doing? Look, madam, I'm... She's not fine, okay? If you had used your side mirror, I wouldn't be here in the hospital. Now I have to look for money to get another wheelchair. But, madam, I'm just trying Hush. to... Keep your explanation to yourself, Biko. Yes, I trusted you with all of my heart. But, yeah... Treat me like a fool. All the promises you said were less for life. Hi, how are you? But now you've left me in the dark. Love, sweet melody, turn bitter symphony of pain, pain and heart. Apart from the bruise on your forehead and your neck, do you feel any pain around your body? So it's, just, it's just my head and my neck. Okay, okay. You are a very strong girl. The pills I give you will take care of the pain, okay? okay. Don't worry. I'll come and check you much later, okay? Okay, okay, thank you. Can I see my mom? Your mom? Yes. No problem, I'll get out for you. Doctor. Oh, she'll be fine. She'll be fine. Okay. Um, oh, you see your husband? No. Um, can I? Oh, I saw the process. She she got joined the form. Okay. Um, at least she's doing fine. Okay. So, thank God. Thank God. Can I see my daughter now? Why not? She was asking of you. Oh, and the nurse will lead you to her work. Alright, oh, let's go. Excuse me, doctor, please. 
Please, I would like to make a deposit on behalf of the injured girl. Okay. All right, follow me. Let me show you the cash office. Okay, please. Luna, how are you? Mom? My dear, how do you feel? I'm always Please don't worry about me. How can I not worry about you? Of course I will worry about you. It is my duty to worry about you. You stop acting more mature than your age. Why are you so perfect? I must have done something amazing in my past life to deserve an angel like you. And me? <laughs> and you too. Both of you. Come here. Don't worry. Just get better. And then we go shopping. And I'll also take you to get your favorite ice cream. <laughs> For you too. <laughs> Tell me you were coming. Mm. Mm. So, I need a visa before coming to my boyfriend's house. Hmm? Why are you looking at me like that? Did I say something wrong? You know, it's, it's funny how people can tag you what they want you to be. I don't understand. Earlier today, Okay. I was tagged a ritualist because I was involved in an accident that wasn't even my fault. And now you're here calling me your boyfriend, even if we both know that's not true. I didn't know you were involved in an accident. Are you okay? Wait, though. So you still don't see me as your girlfriend with all the time we spent together? Mm. Then what are we? What we are, are two good people having, you know, of course, with mutual understanding. There's no need for no tags. Don't see we better different. What's with a wheelchair? Hmm? I don't know where this one came from. I thought she had one. Yes, but it got ruined in the accident. Mom. Muna, mm. how are you feeling? Better. Thank you, Auntie. Where is this from? The wheelchair? The man bought it for me. What man? Mr. Bucci. And who is Mr. Bucci? The man that hit me. He came to the hospital earlier. Oh. That's quite thoughtful, since you ruined the other one. Call him to come take it back. Uh -uh. Why? Yes, he's done enough already. Call him to come take it back. I don't have his number. Okay, don't worry. I'll go down to the reception and get his number. Hold on, Maureen. Can we at least talk about this first, please? Mom. What? Do you want to carry me on your back? You know I'm quite heavy. Can we get you a new one? It's not like we have enough money to spare. But Muna, Maureen, just let it be. Don't ever say that again. Have you ever asked for anything and I didn't provide it for you? I'm not saying that. I'm just... What? 
You don't have to take anything from that man if you don't want to. Mom, it was an accident. You have to let it go. And you have to stop getting angry about it. Wow. So I don't have rights to be angry anymore. Muna is right. It was an accident. At least the guy is here paying for the hospital bills. I'm trying to make amends. I'm sorry. <laughs> so he hit her? So he can pay for the hospital bills, get her a new wheelchair? As a billionaire philanthropist? Calm down, my friend. Let's just thank God it's not more than this. Huh? And you? Get up so you can eat. Sit up. Thank you. You're welcome. Have you from Peter? <laughs> that one. Because I told him last night. And what did he say? <laughs> he blamed me for everything. He said I was so careless with the children. That's why Mona was hit by a car. How can he blame me for that? Can you imagine? Where has it been for the past eight years? Yvonne, please, let's leave that man. I don't want to get angry this afternoon at all. Well, you're the one indulging him. You give him free pass. He cannot try that nonsense with me. That's useless excuse of a man. I'll see you girls later. Thank you so much. Let me know if you need anything, okay? Thank you. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. All right. And Maureen, take it easy on yourself, okay? You will. You will. Take care. Bye. Bye. Thank you. I thought you've left already. Hey, babe. Well, I decided to stay back to make breakfast for my baby. What? Can't I make breakfast for you again? But you... Why didn't you answer me? Why don't you want to get committed with me? Why are you asking me this now? I mean... We are doing good, aren't we? You knew what you were getting into, didn't you? Yeah, but... No buts, okay? We both agreed from the beginning that this relationship was one with no strings attached. But yeah, I know. But I love you. Don't ask me how. It's not hard not to fall in love with you. What I don't understand is why a young, healthy, enterprising man like you would decide not to love nor get married. What you call love is a mere illusion designed to make one prioritize another person over himself. So, are you willing to throw everything we've shared together away? What we have, Vera is a relationship of convenience. You're free to walk away anytime you, you want. You can. What? Bucci? Eh. <laughs> 
<laughs> so, tell me, are you excited to go home? Well, hospital smells really bad. <laughs> I know, right? Um, don't worry, I will go see the doctor and when I'm back, we will leave. Come, Come on. Up. Yes? It was not his fault. Who? Mr. Bucci. Okay. Daddy, I was running after Chidera and I know see his car. You can ask Chidera. So are you saying those people are the same way lying? I was standing in front of the car so they won't know what happened. I wanted to tell you but you were angry. It is not your fault either. He should have used his side mirrors. Mom, I just want all this to stop. Like, let's just be happy. I don't know what I will do with you, my special child. So tell me, what now? I think we owe him an apology. You're right. Um, I'll go to the reception and ask one of the nurses. So I'll give him a call. Is that fine? I love you, my pumpkin. Love you too. What about me? Uh, I love you too. <laughs> okay, um, let me go see the doctor. I'm coming, huh? Mm. I love both of you. So how are you? I'm fine. Hello? Hi, it's Maureen, Muna's mom. Oh, hi. Hi, um, I got your number from one of the nurses at the hospital. How is she? Well, she's fine, though she's been discharged. Oh, that's good. I was actually planning on coming to see her later today. Oh, well, we've left the hospital already. Um, Buchi, I would like to apologize for... Oh, madam, please, please, please don't embarrass me by apologizing to me. Look, I'm the one that is supposed to apologize, okay? If you don't mind, I would like to come check up on her from time to time. I want to be sure she's absolutely fine. <sighs> well, she's fine. Um, can I invite you over? Well, that would be great. Thank you. Um, I will test you the address and also let Muna know you're coming. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. Bye. Um, let me fix something and get ready. Chidera, where are you going? Someone is at the door. Who is at the door? I don't know. Have I not warned you not to ever rush to the door when there is a knock? Now go back to your work. Uh, hi, it's you. Uh, please come in. Hello, good day. Uh, you're welcome. Um, I hope it wasn't difficult locating this place. No, no, not at all. Oh, nice. Um, please sit. Thank you. Hey, how are you? She's not fine. You hit her with your car. Shidera, stop that. But, Mom. I said enough. Now go to your room. I want to finish my drawing. Shidera, go to your room. <laughs> sorry, please. Um, please sit down. All right, it's okay. I'm sorry. What, me? Yes, I owe you an apology. Oh no, don't say that. Look, I was the one who... No, no. I could have gotten into a lot of trouble. It's my fault. I wasn't looking at where I was going to. I'm sorry. Well, I guess my daughter is a better human being than I am. I don't know where that leaves me though. <laughs> but because I, I was... Thank you. 
And thank you so much for taking care of the bills and also getting her another wheelchair. I really appreciate you. Thank you. Yeah, it's okay. It's nothing. It's the least I could do. Um, so, how are you feeling now? Hope you're getting better. Yeah, I'm okay. Super strong. <laughs> Um, um, please, can you sit down? Okay. Yeah. You're welcome. Thank you. Please forgive my manners. What do I offer you? No, I'll get it. I mean, we have wine, juice. We have ice cream. Mona. Mom, come on. Remember, I'm not incapable. Mm. Yes, I can say that. And I know you're very amazing, my child. But right now, I'm going to wait. I'm going to go get it. Is that fine? Please, I'm coming. Mm? I will do it. I'm coming, please. Wait, you drew this and this? Yes. Wow. That's nice. This looks good. Thank you. Wait, you also drew this one? Yes, I'm not done yet. Oh. Dara, say sorry to Uncle Bucci. Why should I? He's the one who hit you with his car. It was not his fault, it was mine. Now I apologize. Sorry. It's fine. Okay. So, friends? Only if you stop hitting us with your car. <laughs> okay, I won't hit you guys with my car again. Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, um, let me go check the food in the kitchen. I'll be right back. Okay. No, no tits. <laughs> you see, you're going to lose your tooth. <laughs> no, you won't. You won't be able to do that. I'll tickle your leg. No! <laughs> Chira, no! stop! No, no, no! Don't stop our guests. Chira, stop! waiting for <laughs> let's just say um, the right one the right person there's no such thing as the right person oh and you will know that you're just a kid I'm 14 yeah she's no longer a kid yeah I'm sorry so let's just say smart teenager then yeah she's <laughs> so smart that she even helps me do my fine art work. She my small madam. For real? She will never stop talking. <laughs> do you want to see? Sure, yeah. She did these two last week and these two today. That one on the wall and this one here. Really? You did this? Wow. <laughs> 
You are super talented. Yeah, she's so talented that she can also play the violin. Oh, you can? Yes. Hmm. We can sing for you if you want. Okay, I will love that. something that was not as good as this. I should pay you guys. <laughs> wow. I can see my lovelies are entertaining you. Yes, they are. And honestly, I would actually wish for more. But um, I have to go, sadly. Why? I'm making lunch and I'm almost done. Please stay for lunch. Please, I would actually love it if you could stay for lunch. Please. Would you please with the cherry on top? <laughs> Okay, I'll stay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Yay! Just... <laughs> 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 just give me a few minutes. Come in, come in, let me just fix the table. Mm -hmm. Alright. Yes, I trusted you with all of my heart. But yeah, you treat me like a fool. All the promises you said last for life But now you've left me in the dark Love sweet melody turn bitter Symphony of pain, pain and heart How can I help myself? I'm drowning in memories of love Head with you But I know love 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 Find me again Once again And all the pain Tears Hurt We still touch each other Touch each other But I know love 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 Find me Interesting, smart young lady. But I wonder what happened to her leg. Back your love, find a way. It's your love, it's to the lie. You don't deserve all the good I did. I will learn to love again. I better love will come my way. Love will make this 
broken heart of mine. What? Why are you staring at me like that? Hmm. Prefer don't you want, madam. But we are going to have that conversation. Okay. What conversation? About our new friend. You mean Muna's friend? Or whatever. Tell me already, my ears are itching. What happened yesterday? Um, he came for lunch yesterday. Okay. Muna, adult conversation. I'm sorry, I came to check if the food is ready. Ah, it's not my fault I overheard. He's single, only if you made it in time for lunch yesterday. Are you? Okay, you guys are sitting <laughs> right. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, Muna. I see. Both of you are ganging up on me. I didn't say anything. Me neither. Well, even if I'm single, that doesn't mean it's my type. Huh. Yvonne, he is definitely your type, my dear. <laughs> Did you say something? No. You better not. <laughs> How are you? I'm hungry. It will soon be ready. Oh, yeah. That's enough. Oh, yeah. Back to your room. He's single. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, like I wasn't even moving against traffic, but they just still stopped me. Are you for real? Yes. After they will say, police is your friend. <laughs> trust, trust me, I've had similar experience, but these days, I just mind my business. <laughs> Can imagine. Mm. Mm. I have to leave now. Oh, okay. I'll let the kids know you dropped by. Okay. Thank you once again for the gift. Yeah. Um, yeah, so uh, I've been meaning to ask. So I don't know if I should ask, but I think I'll just go ahead and ask. You want to ask about your father? Well... No, actually, I wanted to ask about Muna. What happened to her legs? Oh, and I was thinking he was staring at me this for too. <sighs> she was hit by a car when she was six. Wow. And that damaged her leg? It was so bad. Wow. Um, I hope the person that did it got punished. Actually, it was her dad. <sighs> but it was an accident. Muna was behind the car and he was reversing. He actually didn't know. It was total negligence on our side. Wow. Now I feel really bad for what I did to her. I hope I'm able to make up for this. It's all right. It's all in the past now. It's fine. And her dad? He's not in the country. Business trip? <laughs> Let's say he lives there. Oh. Okay. Um, well, I should really be going now. <laughs> Ah, oh, really? You didn't have to do this, but thank you so much for the gift. I'm sure it cost a whole lot. Nah, it's nothing. I'm actually happy to do it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Let me just put you up. Okay. Yes, I trusted you with all of my heart. Okay, I'll let the kids know you drop by. Bye. Bye. All the promises you said less for life. It's not bad. But now you've left me in the dark. Love sweet melody turned bitter symphony of pain. If I'm drowning memories of love And with you But I know love, love, love Will find me again Once again And all the pain Seas, hearts Will soon turn to joy Turn to joy but I know love, love, love will find me again, once again. And all the pain, tears, heart will soon turn to joy.
Marshmallow. Marshmallow. What are you doing here? Are you okay? Are you running temperature? Why can't you be happy? Now why are you doing this to yourself? It's exhausting. Mm -hmm. Thinking about that is exhausting. Why can't you just come home to us? Why? Your dad is going to come home soon now. I thought we had this conversation before. You're still very young. Stop thinking too much, my child. Hmm? I'm going to have to take you back to your room. But I know love, love, love will find me again. Once again, and all the pain, tears, heart, we soon turn to joy, turn to joy. Back your love, find a way. This your love to the lie. You don't deserve all the good I did. What kind of a man are you, Peter? How can you abandon your own family like this? Why are you so cold hearted? Why? Why? Watch me how I rise again from all the pain and all the shame. No regrets, my wound will heal again. This my heart's not do again. I find my strength in my despair. I will turn my ashes into gold. But I know love, love, love will find me again, once again. And all the pain, tears, hurt will soon turn to joy, turn to joy. But I know love, love, love. Hello, Muna. How are you? What? Where are you? All right, all right. You know what? Just stay right there. I'll come get you. Is Chidera with you? Okay. Have you tried reaching your mom? Okay. I'm coming. I'm so sorry, my friend. I'm sorry. Mm -mm. Please, let's go. I thought you wanted to get the whole items in the mall. The blood to the hotel. Mm -hmm. Ah, ah. See, if you had spent more five minutes there, I could have left you and gone my way. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh. I told you I was going to pick my kids from their music class. I'm sure they are waiting for me. But I said sorry now. Uh -huh. Come, hope you bought something for me. Ah, uh, uh. I thought you were angry. <laughs> See you. Hope I bought something for you. Uh, let's go. <laughs> Okay. Mm. Where are they? They are not here. Do you think they must have gone home on their own? That's not possible. 
Let's go, let's go home. Let's. They better be home. These children will not kill me. He's not a stranger. I know nothing about this man. I mean, even you know how the country is. No, but just what madness is down. this? Just try and relax. Let me call him again. Good afternoon, I'm sorry. Mom, I didn't want to do anything. It's more that I said it was alright. You waited. I even called you. I tried to reach you, but it was seeing was um, line was busy. I'm sorry. It's all your fault. You're the one who called him to come over. I'm never listening to you again. You always put me in trouble.
What right do you have? She called me. She said they were done with classes and she couldn't reach you. So, you have my number. Why didn't you call me? Look, I was just trying to help. Trying to help? I do not need your help. Do you know how worried I was? You have absolutely no right! No right whatsoever! I welcomed you into our home. Forgave you for what you did to my daughter. And now you did this? How could you? Look, I had no bad intentions, okay? She called me and told me that they were stranded. That she couldn't get you on the phone. So I just mm. drove straight to their school to get them. And we drove back home. That was all. Oh, we actually did stop to have lunch. But then I brought them back here. Okay? Look, she called me for help. I was on my phone the entire time. So how come Muna couldn't get me, but she could get a hold of you on the phone? Oh, I don't know, Maureen. Colleague network, you know. Look, Maureen, your children are like mine. If you're harboring any thoughts that I could mean bad for them, I don't know if I should feel disappointed. You know me. I'm not like that. Do I? Tell me. Do I even know him? Do I know you? No, listen, Buchi. Just know your place. You are not their father. You have no Mary. right! That's enough. You said enough. No, listen. Don't you ever go pick my kids again! They're you not your responsibilities. Yes, I trust in you with all of my heart. But yeah, you treat me like a fool. All the promises you said were less for life. But now. You know, I, I thought I was doing a good thing. But I guess I'm wrong. Well, you can't entirely blame her. She's a mother of two girls, and with what is happening in our society, one have to be extremely careful. You're right. You know, I wasn't thinking. I, I'm just fond of Mona that I can't say no to her. <laughs> Mona is fond of you too, but mom has the final say. Sure. Thanks. You're welcome. Anyway, we haven't formally been introduced. I'm Yvonne. Uchi. Nice to meet you. I've heard so much about you. Really? Well, it's depending on what you've heard. <laughs> because I'm sure I don't have a good reputation up there. Oh. <laughs> so tell me, is it fair enough? Ah, uh, <laughs> fair enough. Ah. <laughs> Thanks. You're well, I, I should be going now. Okay. Drive safely. Alright, bye. Okay, bye. Pack your load, far away. It's your love to the lie. You don't deserve all the good I did. I will learn to love again. What was that all about? I get that you're angry, but don't you think you kind of overreacted? Overreacted? You don't get it, Yvonne. Muna never called me. And besides, this is the first time I went to their school to pick them up late. Why didn't she call you instead? Muna did this on purpose and Buchi endorsed her. You can't blame him. Maureen, look, I think it just have a soft spot for her. You know, considering the fact that I ran her over. I'm no longer comfortable with your closeness. I'm tired. It's enough. It has to stop. I don't know what else to say. I'll go check on the kids. Away from my children. Thank you. Auntie, will mommy scold us? I don't know. But you both didn't do the right thing. 
You know your mom has a lot on her plate she's dealing with at the moment. So why give her more to be worried about? Do you know how worried she was? I'm sorry, it was my fault. I called Uncle Pichi when I couldn't reach mom on the phone. So why didn't you call me? I'm sorry. I guess I was just excited. About what? I don't know. Having a man look after us. It has always been women. I think it felt good having a father figure look after us. And who is in the picture? Mama. I know you miss your dad. Not anymore. I mean, it's not as if he'll come back to us. So why bother waiting for him? In fact, I don't even want to see his face again. Auntie. Oh, mommy beat us. Oh no, she won't. Come here. Look, my mom is calm. I need you to apologize to her, okay? I wasn't expecting you. Well, I was around the neighborhood, so I thought I should stop by. Oh. Okay, so are you spending the night? Yeah, or are you expecting someone else? Anyways, for someone who isn't committed, I'm sure there are other people you're seeing. What? Do you want a drink? Whatever. All the promises you said were less for life. But now you've left me in the dark. Love sweet melody turn be hmm. He can't even call to apologize. I was so worked up and it was all because of him. So did I overreact? But I have every right to. The world is such a wicked place. And they are girls. My girls. But she has been nothing but a gentleman. But himself. Why can't he just call me? He can call me now that I'm calm. Let's talk. So I'm calm now. Should I call you? I don't know if she's still angry with me. Should I do what should I do? Should I do? Honestly, I don't know what to do. Back your love, far away. It's your love, it's to the lie. You don't deserve all the good I did. I will learn to love again. A better love will come my way. Love will make this broken heart of mine. Watch me how I rise again. From my pain and all the shame. No regrets, my wound will heal again. Hey, aren't you coming to bed? Um, I'm actually very busy today. Can you just go? I will join you later. What do you mean I should go to sleep? You will join me. You know I'm here. Come give me some bed. Um, Kfer, honestly, I'm tired, okay? So please, can you just sleep today? Are you kidding me right now? But I know love, love, love will find me again. Soon turn to joy. 
turn to joy. He's winning. Sorry, I was about shutting it down. No, don't shut it down. Let's play. Mom? Yes, let's play. And if you win, you have one month free data from me. But she don't know how to play. You can't say that until you win me. So let's play. Let's play. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Calm down. Okay. No, that's not how to play it. Am I not the one on white? No, you're the one on blue. Oh. Eh, hey, you sure? Are you going to scold me? I'm sorry. Mm. Do you think he's a good man? Mr. Bucci? Yes. Mm. I think he is. Why? Why do you think he's a good person? I don't know why you're asking me all this question. Nothing. No worry. Let's play. But I know love, love. Am I getting me right now? Love will find me again. X is to pass. This one. Mm. X is to pass. Triangle is for is for long pass. Uh -huh. huh. O is to tackle. This one. You... Uh, am I going to press them together? Mm -hmm. Move it this one like anywhere you want it to go to. Just move it. it. spoken to your uncle Bucci since the last time. Yes, this morning. Mm. Mm -hmm. He called or you called? He called. He wanted to know how I was faring. Such an arrogant. Why can't he just call and apologize? Well, I'm not going to call him. I don't care if I overreacted or not. Just don't call him. Do you want me to call him? Mm. No. Why? Just let him be. I'm going to set the table for lunch, Muna. <laughs> okay. So he can't even call me, huh? Instead, he called me now. And both of them now are trying to make me look like the bad person. No problem. I won't call him. So can also play the game. She is not going to call me. Mm. So are you coming? Are you sure? Because I don't want anyone shouting at me again. <laughs> Trust me, when she's angry, she can be something else. But she's a very sweet person. Well, I agree with you. Okay, you know what? I will stop by later. Should I tell her you're coming? Mm -hmm. What do you think? I think we should keep it as a surprise. Yeah, that's good. Um, but let's make one thing clear. Hmm? I am not in cohorts with you, 
because I don't want anyone to shout at me again. Please, I beg you. Yeah. <laughs> Are you scared? Am I scared? Yes. I'm not even ashamed to say I'm scared. I am scared. Your mom, she terrifies me. <laughs> Please do. Okay, bye bye. All right, bye. So that she not see you close to the door. Why? I'll just get it. How are you? <laughs> there, there. He would shame. <laughs> I thought he said he was he angry. Hmm. Yeah. And he didn't call me before coming. You're welcome. This man safe. Hey, Muna. How are you? Fine, good afternoon. Afternoon. You good? Yes. Hey. Good afternoon. Chidera, come, let's go to the room. I want to apologize to you. Took you this long, huh? Yeah. I'm sorry, okay? I was wrong. I should have known my place. Look, I'm not going to make it easy for you. Okay, so what do I do to make up for it? But why will you even do something like that? Look, I don't know, okay? I wasn't thinking. Muna is so dead to me, it's difficult. I don't know how to say no to her. Look, I'm very protective of my girls. And I do like the fact that you're friends with them, but please, let's know our limits and respect boundaries. Okay. Um, about boundaries. Can I ask you something I've been meaning to ask? If you're going to ask me about my husband or why he's not coming home, I do not know what Muna must have told you, but I Can actually... I take you out to dinner? That's if you don't mind. Please don't think too much about it, okay? And I know, I know, um, we are just friends, okay? But please, uh, I would love to take you out. Just the two of us, okay? I get nothing like it's just us. Okay. Please, I beg you, don't think too much about it. Mm. I, I'm sorry, but I would like to say no. Mm. And thanks for the offer anyway. Let me get you something to drink. sleeping. Hmm? I think you should go. Okay. Go where? To dinner with Agubuchi. Mona, were you listening to my conversation again? No. I mean, the house is too small and the walls are thin. Still none of your business. Look, you deserve to be happy. Muna, my child, you're still too young. You don't understand how the society works. How does the society work? A man leaves his house for eight years without coming back. 
and the wife has to wait for him. Auntie Menopause catches her. Muna, how do you know these things? Mom, I can't walk. And that gives me ample time to sit and watch. I watch and listen. And from what I've been seeing, that does not make you happy. You deserve to be happy. Muna, I go to dinner with this man and then what? Shall I also divorce your dad and marry this man? Or shall I play hide and seek with my marriage? Tell me, what next? I don't know. That is why I said you were still too young to understand what is going on, Muna. Mom, from what I've observed, you are sad. You are lonely. You need someone. You need a friend, a supportive partner, a husband. Don't think about what's next. Just try to be happy. No. My child, you're reasoning beyond your age. You know what? It's late. You should go to bed. Mom, when I go to bed. And all the pain sees hurt will soon turn to joy. Nina, maybe you should invite him for Chidara's birthday to me. <laughs> that sounds nice. Is is this weekend, right? Yes, it is. Wait. Don't worry, I'll invite Wait, him. Just mm. I, I will just, just tell him more. <laughs> oh no no mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes I trusted you with all of my heart But yeah you treat me like a fool All the promises you say I'm less for life Hello Mona how are you? I'm fine good morning Uncle Buchi yeah, good morning. Uncle Buchi, Chidara's birthday is on Friday. Oh, wow. This Friday? Yes, I would love for you to come. Oh, um... Okay, uh, let's do it like this. I will only come if you and Chidara prepare something for me. Yes, I'll tell mom to cook something delicious for you. No, 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 no. I don't want you to disturb your mom. I want you and Chidara to do it. If we do the cooking, will you come? Yes, I will. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, how is your mom? She's here. She's listening to you. Oh, wow. Wow, wow. Uh, okay, uh, just say hi to her for me, okay? Okay. Okay, bye-bye, Uncle Buchi. All right. He's there. What? Why are you smiling? He doesn't even want to stress you. Mm. Mm. That's because he knew I was listening. Ah, mom, come on, how would he have known? I can't believe he wants me to cook on my own bed. <laughs> I will do the cooking. Mm. I'm sure it's not going to taste as good as mine. Oh, mommy, please cook, please. Please, mom. Fine, I will do the cooking. Yay, mommy is going to cook. <laughs> Baby, I can't believe you'll be eight in the next few days. Come here. Where is mine? <laughs> Even you. Stay there. You're old enough. No kiss for you. Cut your cake so that we can all go and do other things. Nope, I'll wait. And what if he doesn't come? He said he'll come, of course he'll come. Hmm. Now, wow, this guy love. I told you earlier, but you did not believe me. My dear, see, they say it's believing. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
That must be him. Hello. Hi. Hey, little one. How are you? Okay. Happy birthday, little princess. I got you this. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for coming, Bucci. Yeah, it's fine. It looks like I came late. Not really. We didn't wait that long. Oh. Okay. What? He's just coming right on time. Right, Mom? <laughs> no comment. Hmm. I'm trying to imagine what you've done to these girls. That they've transferred all their love to you. Making us feel ordinary. <laughs> well, I'm sure I didn't do anything. Oh, ladies, did I do anything? No, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, guys, okay. Let's get the party started. Okay. We could keep this. Yeah. So, um. Um, I think we should start by singing the song. Okay. Okay. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Hip, hip, hip. Hooray! Okay, Princess, I think you should cut the cake now. But please make a wish first. Okay, so um, what are we cutting the cake to? My name. I think her name. Dara, okay? So, on the count of three. One, two, three. D, D E, e R, R, A. Yay. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Okay, girls. Let's go get ice cream at the mall. We already have ice cream. Let's get more. Yes, and chocolates. Remember, I need to get my present. Mm -hmm. I need okay with this. Do not go anywhere. We'll be back. Okay, I'll wait for you, okay? Bye. Bye, girls. Bye. 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 See you Bye. later. Are you serious about him asking your mom to dinner? Yes, but she turned him down. That woman. I don't know what to do with her anymore. Is she allergic to happiness or what? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway, let's go. My car is parked over there. For eight years now. And you know you have a lot of questions in your mind. Well, um, I'm trying not to over cross my boundaries. You already told me he's out of the country. And yet you asked me out. Well, um, I've been around for a while and I noticed the word dad is rarely used around here. You told me he's not around, but the impression I get is that he's not much in the picture. Hmm. He calls? <sighs> yes. And he takes care of his responsibilities? You said he's not been around for eight years. What did he say are his reasons for not coming back home all this while? <sighs> At first he said he was his papers. I don't know. Chidea barely knows her dad. She was also barely seven months old when he left. <sighs> you know, they talk on the phone, but I know they miss him so much. That's sad. Well, what about you? Are you seeing someone else? Or perhaps married? Okay, what's, what's funny? Well, it depends on what you mean by seeing someone else. Okay, 
So, am I seeing someone else? Mm, maybe. But committed? Nah. I try to live my life like a lone wolf without any social affiliation whatsoever. Hmm. More like a playboy. No. You see, that's a word coined just to suit a narrative. <laughs> I'm not a playboy. Yeah, I always make my intentions known from the get-go. Hmm. Mm hmm Talking about intentions, so what is your intention towards me? Are you trying to set me up? No, I just want to know. Hello, everyone! How long has this been going? I'm talking to you, Mom. Why didn't you tell me you were coming home? So you can hide your atrocities and pretend to be the perfect wife, right? I haven't done anything wrong, Peter. Tell me another lie. I knew it. So all this, I'm missing you. I can't wait for you to come back. Blah, blah, blah was all in line. You have been taking good care of down here. Right? Now tell me, how many are they? I am talking to you. How many men come to service you in my house? How dare you? How dare you, Peter? You better not raise your voice at me. Where are my kids? Huh? Where are my kids? Oh, so this is what you do? You send them out so you can have time to fornicate in my house? That's enough! That's enough accusation, Peter. Huh? Yes! And what are you going to do about it? Am I lying? Eight years, Maureen. And I decided to come back and this is what I come back to? Huh? This is a comeback and this is... Can you just even say it? Like it means nothing! You left us! You left us! Am I the first man that will leave Nigeria to go and look for greener pastures? Am I? Those men, Peter, they come back home. They take care of your family, right? They love their children. They also love their wives! Oh, stop! Stop! What is wrong with you? Let's not deviate from the topic, okay? And I'm going to ask you again. How many men? How many men come to this house to service you since I was away? That is what I want to know right now. Tell me! You want to know that she is just a friend. Oh. Yes. Just a friend? Yes, he is Mona's friend. You allow my teenage daughter to befriend an adult male? Right? Maureen? It's not what you think, Peter. Oh, it's not what I think. <laughs> it's not what I think. Okay, tell me what you want me to think. Tell me. Peter, that's the same man who ran over our daughter. I mean, he paid for everything. Her hospital bills, even got her a new wheelchair. I told you about all of it on the phone. Okay. You told me about it. All right. Let me ask you. Aside from the fact that you're having an affair with this, are you both planning to kill my daughter so you can have time and free time to do whatever you want? Is what? that what you want? Are you okay? Are you okay? Oh. I had enough. Truth mm. hurts, isn't it? Right? Children are a burden to you. 
You just want to take them out. That's all you want to do. Yes. Peter, now you're going to listen to me. Enough! I've had enough! And I'm done with this conversation. You're not done. I said, I am done! No, you're not done! I'm done. You're not! No. Mona, love. Daddy's home. Muna. Muna, wait. Come back. Come on. Stop. Stop. Muna, come here. Muna. Muna. Peter. Muna. Yeah. Muna. Muna. Oh. Look at you. You look so beautiful. Come here. Oh, daddy's back, okay? Daddy's back. What is, what is all this? Babe. What? We need to talk. I'm not in a good frame of mind to talk. What do you mean by that? Enough, Vera. Okay? You can't guilt trip me into having a relationship with you. You broke the rules. And I refuse to feel bad about it. I mean, for God's sake, you knew what you were getting into from the beginning. And since it's not working, I think it's best we just go our ways. Look, you knew what you were getting into. So please. Children. They are in their rooms. Okay, please get them. I want to eat with them. Mm. Daddy. My baby. Sit down. Hmm? Daddy wants us to eat together. Okay? Um, where is Mona? She won't talk to me. Okay. Please get her food. So how are you? Fine. I was good today. Good. All right. So you're going to eat now. After eating, you tell me everything about your school. Okay? All right. Please get her food. But then, take. Let me give you meat. Open your mouth. Ah. Mm, that's my girl. How do I know what's going on in that place now? Hmm? Or should I call Mona? I should probably just let them be for now. This my heart's not do again. I find my strength in my despair. I will turn my ashes into gold. But I know love, love, love will find me again. I was waiting at the diner. I thought you would be so excited to see me. I wanted to surprise you guys, especially Jidera on her birthday. We don't need you. We're doing just fine. You don't call your daddy on the phone. And when I call, you don't speak to me that much. What do you want to hear? 
you have grown so big and tall. I mean, you even act mature too. I can barely recognize you. Listen, Mona, I have missed my daughter. Hmm? Well, I can't say the same for you, but it seems like you have grown old and cold. I didn't want to remember your face. Is this how you speak to your elders? Your father? Wait. Is this what your mother taught you guys? To be rude and disrespectful? Does she even teach you guys manners at all? At least she's a better parent. She's present. Where were you? Stop it, Mona! Stop it! Enough of your insolence! What is wrong with you? Is that how you speak to your father? Teach me how to. How do I talk to you? How? Muna! Not another word from you. I guess I shouldn't have come back home if I knew I wasn't going to get a warm reception. And I'm sure you were busy for looking around that you forgot to teach these girls some manners! Please, I want to be left alone. No, I don't want to be left alone. Oh, no, no. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I trusted you with all of my heart. But yeah, you treat me like a fool. All the promises you said less for life. But now, you've left me in the dark Love's sweet melody turn bitter Symphony of pain Pain and heart Please leave me alone, I'm not in the mood You don't miss me? I said I'm not in the mood Do you mean you're not in the mood? So if it was Bucci, wouldn't you be in the mood? That's it. I've had enough. If you're coming back, is to come and insult me. Then you shouldn't have come at all. Mm. Just say what's on your mind. Mm. You want to know what's on my mind? Peter, go. Leave us alone. Go. Mm. You asked me to come. Right? You begged me. You pleaded with me to come. Come back home. Yes. And here. Yes, I did. That's because I thought you were what's waiting for. But you came back and you've been accusing me of all sorts of nonsense. What kind of a person are you? Why can't you just be a good human being? Why is it so hard for you, Peter? Why? So it's my fault now, right? Yes. It is your fault. And I'm tired. I'm tired of your manipulation, your gaslighting, and your narcissistic behavior. I'm the one who should be angry, Peter. I mean, I'm the one who should be angry that you left us and your responsibility as a father. But no, somehow you managed to spin the table around and make me the villain. Want a divorce? Excuse me? Oh, yes. You asked for it yourself. You said you're tired, right? You're tired. No, Peter. Oh, no, no, no. Don't, don't say a word, okay? <laughs> oh that's, my that's god, sis, sis listen, don't say anything, okay? Just sleep over it, okay? Tomorrow, we'll decide what you want, alright? I do. Hey! Hey! Stop! Don't touch me. You're not in the mood. Please, just be there. Let me be. Alright. 
Please, just let me be. I want to sleep. Okay? Don't touch me. But I know love, love, love will find me again. Once again. And all the pain, tears, heart will soon turn to joy. Turn to joy. Back your love to find a way. It's your love into the light. We ask for you don't deserve all the good I was only trying to let him know how tired I was. I never mentioned the divorce. Peter is only doing what Peter does best. He only came home to get a divorce from you. Yes. You remember four years ago when Peter said he was making plans to come home to see you and the kids? just that he might lose his job and you said oh don't come we are fine i don't want you to lose your job because of us <laughs> trust me peter never intended coming home all he does is emotionally manipulates you he allows you make decisions that are too difficult for him to take and then he turns around to blame me for same decisions he's obviously benefiting from what are you saying peter came in a few days ago and he's willing to let go of you just like that Come on, Maureen. You know him. That man is a misogynist who believes a woman is nothing but a property to a man. No, tell me. What sensible man leaves his wife unattended to for eight years if he doesn't see her as a piece of furniture, just like the ones in his living room? Huh? Are you saying Peter is trying to get a divorce from me? Look, what I'm saying is that the Peter you and I know won't let go of you just like that if he wasn't done with you. So you telling him you're tired, you can't continue with this. He saw it as a perfect opportunity to present his case without looking like the bad guy. Fun, but... but no but, Maureen. Look, first, he accused you of having an affair. And now he wants to grant you a divorce because you asked for it. <laughs> Come on, Maureen. Isn't this obvious? Eight years, eight good years, you never cheated on this man. Nor asked for a divorce. But now you want to paint you as a bad guy. And then he becomes the one who comes home after so many years to find another man in his house. And thereafter, his wife comes to ask for a divorce. <laughs> Come on now. What a perfect story to sell to the people. Peter wants to make you the villain here. Stop crying, my friend. Everything is going to be fine. <sighs> Muna is still not talking to me. I wonder how badly you painted me before my kids. She sees me as her enemy. Can you imagine my own daughter doesn't want to speak to me? Listen. You need to make it right. You need to get her to speak to me. Because this attitude of hers is really, really driving me crazy. Okay? I want your divorce, Peter. Yes. You asked me to think about it, right? Well, this is my answer. I want a divorce. No. Okay. It's fine. Okay. Okay. Fine. Okay. You're not willing to... You're not going to fight for a relationship, a marriage. There's nothing left to fight for anymore. It don't make sense. That's because you already knew, right? 
That's why you came home, to get a divorce from me. Answer me, Peter! You came back home to divorce me, right? Um, yes. Okay, yes. Of course I did. Listen, I had to come down here out of respect that I have for you. Okay? I don't want to end our marriage over the phone. So I thought it was wise for me to come down here so we can talk about it. Okay? And I thought it was best for me to come here so we can talk about it. So why did you just say so? Because I didn't want to hurt you. Conversations with you always ends in arguments because all you do is abuse me, accuse me. Do you have any idea how much I have been hurt? How dare you talk about hurting me when all you do is hurt me every goddamn time, Peter? Every day you hurt me. That's what you do. You hurt me. You hurt me, Peter. Then let's call it quit. <laughs> Listen, Maury, it's not working. Okay? It's not working anymore. Listen, we can find a way and plan on how we're going to take care of our kids. Alright? And listen, I promise I'll be by the girls. I'll do right by the girls this time, okay? How could you? How could you have told me this yes? How could you? Um, listen, Maureen, I... I know I've not been the best father or the best husband. <laughs> but believe me when I say that, I really did miss my family. Okay? But then... Things change over time. I don't think I want to do this with you anymore. I don't want to be with you again. Listen. I don't want to hurt you anymore. I don't want to hurt you anymore. I've done so much harm to you. I know it's really, really difficult for me to accept it, but I don't think I deserve you. You deserve better. We don't have to tell the kids yet. I'll be leaving in two weeks. And I would love to spend some quality time with them. And I hope to fix my relationship with Mona before I leave. Peter, tell me the truth, please. Do you have someone over there? Do you have a family? Peter. I'm, I'm seeing someone. No. 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 But I know love, love, love will find me again, once again. And all the pain, tears, heart will soon turn to joy, turn 
to joy. Back your love to find a way. Ooh. It's your love to the lie. You don't deserve all the good I you did. I will learn to love again. A better love will come my way. Love will mend this broken heart of mine. Hey. Yvonne, how are you? You just disappeared on us like that. Now what for you? You didn't even call Maureen to know how she's fairy. I thought you guys were getting pretty close. I didn't know what to do. You know, with her husband around, I didn't want to overstep my boundaries. Muna didn't call you? She did. A couple of times, but I didn't pick. Just like you said, we were getting pretty close. And um, I just didn't think that me being around was going to help any of us. So I decided to stay away. He left. What do you mean by that? They got a divorce. Oh. Ah, oh, Rabuchi. If you really like my friend, I think you should go for her. Maureen is a very good person. And I'm sure she'd really like you too. Anyway, I'll see you around. All right. Take care. Someone remembered me today. Hi. I'm um, sorry I stayed away for so long. <sighs> he left us. Peter left us. So I heard. I missed you, Maureen. Your love to the lie. You don't deserve all the good I you did. I will learn to love again. A better love will come my way. Love with men is broken hey. heart of mine. Hey, good evening. Wow. Hi, Uncle Gucci. Nice to see you. Yeah, nice to see you too, Mona. Uncle Butchie, my dad came, but he left us again. Wow, Chidera, see the big TV. Is that a PS5? Yes, it is. Wow! Can we play? Yeah, sure. I'm excited to have you guys in my house. So, welcome. Um, you guys make yourselves very comfortable, okay? While I go set the table for dinner. Thank you. All right. You made this? Yes, I did. Uncle Bucci is very nice. Thank you. Oh, Uncle Bucci, you can cook one. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Are you sure you guys are not just whining me? No, <laughs> it's only shows. Mama, am I lying? No, you actually did a good job. Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. Hey. Uh, thanks for bringing the kids over. You're all they could talk about for the past two months. Yeah. I've grown fond of them. And their mother too. Um, Smitty. And Vichy, about that. You were very good person and my girls, they love you so much. I... Why do I sense there's a bot coming? That's because I'm not ready for a commitment yet. <laughs> Are you, what is this? Is this like come or what? I'm confused. What do you mean? The word no commitment is usually my language. <laughs> Now you've hijacked it. <laughs> <sighs> no, it's just that. I just ended more than a decade old marriage and I need time to heal. Please. <laughs> you know, I never would have thought that I'll be eager to get into the commitment. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's why they say, yeah. Never seen it, but right? <laughs> Imagine me, eager to get into this. I mean, you and the kids. Oh, well, I guess they say when love comes for you, you have nothing else to do than to surrender. I'm sorry. I just, I just need more time. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. I'm not in a hurry. You know what they say. Good things don't come easy. Yes, I trusted you with all of my heart. But yeah, you treat me like a fool. All the promises you said less for life. But now you've left me in the dark. Love sweet melody turn bitter symphony of pain, pain and hearts. How can I help myself? I'm drowning in memories of love. Had with you, but I know love, love, love will find me again, once again. But I know love, love, love will find me again, once again. And all the pain, tears, heart will soon turn to joy, turn to joy. Back your love, find a way. It's your love, it's to the lie. You don't deserve all the good I you did. I will learn to love again. A better love will come my way. Love will make this broken heart of mine. Watch me how I rise again. From all the pain and all the shame. No regrets, my wound will heal again. Yes, my heart's not do again. I find my strength in my despair. I will turn my ashes into gold. But I know love, love, love will find me again, once again. And all the pain, tears, hurt will 